Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. If you're new here, my name's Jessie. Today y'all, we are going to be getting some cleaning done. I'm also going to be working on a mobile home makeover. So if y'all are ready, let's get to it. I hope you are all having a great day so far. If you are cleaning with me, that is so awesome. And let's get it all done, girl. I hope this video gives you all of the motivation that you need. In today's video, y'all, we are also going to be working on another mobile home makeover. I love doing mobile home updates, y'all, because I have so many to do. I am so excited to finally be working on them and getting them done and just transforming my home. And if you're new here, my name is Jessie, and I'm so glad that you're here. I am a stay-at-home wife and mama to two boys. We also do homeschooling, and we also do mobile home living. We live in a 1999 double-wide mobile home, and we have been doing lots of makeovers and just turning this into our dream home. So I'm bringing y'all along for the journey and just giving y'all all of the motivation. But I also like to do lots of cleaning, homemaking, DIY projects, makeovers. So if those are things that interest you, I would love for you to consider subscribing, joining my YouTube family, because I would love to have you here with me. So first things first, y'all, I need to get my cleaning out of the way before I can start to play. So I need to get all of the cleaning done. I'm starting in my bedroom. I don't have a whole lot to do in here, y'all, but I do need to make my bed. And then we're going to work on putting up a load of lunch really quick and then we will get into the mobile home makeover. You, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long. You always thought that you were weak but babe you're wrong. Yeah you better step into the light just give it a try think that it's time spark out you've been hiding in the shadows way too long Cause you're a work of art
right, y'all, so now we're going to go ahead and put up a load of laundry really quick. I am trying to keep up with my laundry, so I need to go ahead and get it put up before I get started because once I get into the makeover, y'all, I'm not going to want to stop and fold laundry. So I'm going to go ahead and get the put up really quick. That's just going to keep me motivated to keep going. So usually if I have another load to do, I'll just go ahead and I'll put on another load while I'm cleaning and getting other things done. That way I can get caught up with my laundry, but I am been I have been doing so good that I don't need to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and get these put up and then we will get moved on to the makeover. on another mobile home makeover and I'm going to be transforming that wall behind me eventually every wall is going to be transformed but so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that wall behind me so if y'all are ready let's get to it you said it was the last time but you keep coming back to tell me Sorry that you take back All the things you said just to hurt me I love just went cold But I'm still burning I love just went cold Why? I keep on making the same mistake Hallmarks. There's a bunch of hole marks on this wall from the previous people that used to live here and then I put some in there as well. Um, I'm not going to be having anything on this wall. This wall is just going to be empty. So it's my other wall uh, because the project that we're going to end up doing here, I'm going to need this to not have anything on it. So, um, so you want to do that. Whenever you're working on projects, you want to try to get the cleanest finish that you possibly can. 
So I went ahead, sanded down all of those hole marks um, and made them all flat. And then I filled them in with some joint compound. And then after that's dry, I will go ahead and do a light sand over that just to make sure it's all flat before I start to paint. Now, another thing that you want to do is uh, make sure you don't have any cracks or anything around your wall, like where the trim is or anything. Um, if you can see, there's a spot right here that has this big gap. I don't like that. That's not going to look very professional. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my cloth and I'm going to um, seal that. That way it'll just be a solid finish. So if you don't know, I like to change things a lot. I mean, a lot. So one day I can have it one way and the next day I can change it all up, even if I just redone it. So I have been wanting the sage green color in my home for a while. So I've been thinking about where I could put it and how I can incorporate it into my home. I do love the gray, um, but I just wanted, you know, some accent walls, walls here and there and to incorporate the sage green. Now this green doesn't come off really sage green in video. It looks like really light, but it does dry a bit darker and it does look sage green. I'll have a clip at the end so you can actually see what it looks like dried, but so I decided to go ahead and do a couple accent walls here in my living room. This is the first wall. Well, there's going to be a lot of accent walls in my living room, really. But um, <laughs> there, this is the first one that I'm working on, and it has the sage green on it. And, it. and I decided to go ahead and work with all of the trim pieces that I have here and kind of paint the bottom part a, a cream color. Now, I was wanting country white, but whenever I went to the store... There was no way I could get that. They didn't have it in stock and they were out of um, gallons for me to use to mix. So I just picked up what they had already. So I've had a few of y'all already ask me this color because in one of my last videos, I showed where I painted my kitchen wall this green color. Now I did get these paints from Walmart, y'all. And um, the green is Sage Pond. And then the cream color that I'm painting the wall now is called coconut. And the coconut one is already pre-mixed, but the sage pond, you're going to have to get mixed. But I love it. I think it's so pretty, and it just brings something different to the living room. So I'm so excited about it. But yeah, y'all, I hope this video helps motivate you so you can get up and bring some color to your life or just, you know, make over a spot in your home. I love doing projects like this, so I'm so excited to be starting back on some makeovers. I have been waiting a long time to do the living room, and we have so many things in mind, so I will do them as fast as I can and bring you all of the motivation and show y'all because I know a lot of you are eager to see what I end up doing. 
Um, but yeah, y'all. So this is the first wall in the living room and I'm so excited to get it all finished. Alright, so I am just painting around this outlet, y'all. I don't know what is up with this outlet. It's kind of weird. It doesn't have a part for me to take off, but it is okay because we're eventually going to replace that anyways. But for right now, it's just going to stay the way that it is. So this is how the wall turned out y'all. I absolutely love it. It looks so pretty and it just brings life to my living room. I cannot wait until I have done more painting and I have finished in here so I can actually see what my living room is going to look like. So yeah, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this wall makeover. I love the sage green. As you can see, it looks a little bit different now that it's dried and it is beautiful. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right. Bye y'all.